So guys, today I wanted to actually compare the new SU30SM engine to the older one that we have in the live server right now. We are in the dev server and of course he got a new engine power output. So he has a buff to it. Stat cards will say X or Y, but it doesn't matter. We need to test it out to see what is the actual change on the thrust and the percentage gain on each engine, right? So let's talk a little bit about that today. So the test that you are seeing right now, it's basically using War Thunder real-time information to measure the thrust or the power output of both engines of the SU-30 in the old and new SU-30, right? The live and dev server ones. And then you're going to see that the power output and the speed, they are changing. They started at the same, you know, speed, and then they will go, you will see that there is a difference there. But at the end of the day, I really wanted to give you the exact uh, changes, um, you know, the exact solution, the conclusion here. But you can keep an eye out while I talk on the actual tests and when it's done, I'll just keep some images there for the SU-30 for you to check it out. The numbers are what matter in this video the numbers makes so yeah so just to explain to you guys what was the test like i said i use war turner real-time information to give me the exact thrust in different speeds at the same altitude to actually kind of give an idea there are variables out there and if you try it out in different altitudes you will get different results but at least on the deck is what i tested okay so um four tests you know, measurements at 600, 900, 1,100, and 1,500 kilometers per hour through airspeed. It's not measured in IAS, it's measured in true airspeed, okay? Um, in these four occasions, we had this power output for the old and this for the new. So you will notice that for the 600 kilometers per hour, we pretty much have the same difference, okay? Uh, more or less, it is 0.3 kilonewtons, so nothing, basically, right? Because obviously the buff happens after the 600, okay? So it makes sense. Um, at the 900, you will see that we have an increase of 6.01 kilonewtons in each engine. That is, that is a total 12 kilonewtons of power, which translates to 4.8% more thrust. In the 1100, we had 6.18 um, kilonewtons more in each engine, producing 4.6 percentage of power output increase. And at 1500 kilometers per hour, we had a 6.99 kilonewtons of thrust in each engine, producing a 4.57 percentage more thrust in each engine. So the conclusion, guys, is that indeed the power output increased by a pretty significant amount. I mean, 5% is not small quantities, guys. But obviously, obviously, it's not something that you will feel that it completely changed the aircraft, okay? It will have around 5%, 4 to 5% more thrust. It will mean that it will get a little bit more speed quicker. It will climb a little bit better. It will maintain a little bit more energy after turns and, you know, overall, the performance of the aircraft will increase. But it is just a 4 to 5% increase, at least on the deck, right? So it doesn't mean that it's going to completely change the vehicle, but it is indeed there, okay? So this, these are the numbers. Let me know in the comments what you think about them, and I see you guys on the next one. So make sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and bye, guys.